introducing first in the yellow corner. He has two fights to his credit so far. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stones, six pounds, and tonight he wears the red shorts. Please welcome, from La Coruña, Spain, Adam Martinez! And across the ring in the blue corner, tonight he makes his much-anticipated professional debut. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, nine pounds, and tonight he wears the white and silver shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing an outstanding amateur and former two-time European gold medalist. Please welcome, from Southampton, his name is Royston Barney Smith, a.k.a. Sugar Boy Roy! Okay, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all time. Good luck to you both. Good luck. Well, I'll tell you what, you're talking about putting yourself under a little bit of pressure, coming out before a fight and before your debut, saying you want to be Britain's youngest ever world champion. That's some statement, and if you're wondering who that is, post-war, it's Nazim Hamad, 21 years, 7 months and 18 days, when he beat Steve Robinson in Cardiff in September 1995. That's the target. Yeah, putting a lot of pressure on himself already, but I like that. I like that. I like his ambition. He says he's an aggressive counter-puncher. Well, Martinez, late to the sport, 30 years old, older man by 12 years, only had two fights, lost them both on points over four rounds. I think there's a long way to go, John, but it could be one of them ones where we're saying we were there, we commentated the night that, that Royston Barney Smith made his debut. You never know, you never know, these things can happen. Well, we both remember when Nazim Hamad beat Steve Robinson, what a superlative performance that was. How good is young Royston going to be? Already looking here, he look, he, he, distance is good. He's not getting over eager. Um, nice style, nice kind of style to look at. Seems to work well behind that job. And literally, we're a minute and a half into the start of his professional career here. Well, he, I mean, you, you'd know very much i'm sure about the nerves involved when you first set foot in a professional boxing ring decent body shot there from barney smith but you know he, he wouldn't be human if, he, if there haven't been butterflies beforehand no, I, I remember being extremely nervous before i had my own debut and the, the biggest thing i was worried about was the change in gloves the gloves going from amateur boxing to, to professional fighting it, it's like night and day and you feel them, they feel different when they land on the arms and the gloves and around the body, it's a, it's a completely different sensation. It's, it's, so, it's something you'll have to get used to. You already see that he's got fast hands. The youngster, incidentally, trained by Ben Davison. What a 48 hours he ha he's had. He was in Dubai last night in the corner with Shabazz Mazoud, the undefeated super bantamweight who had a victory. Got on the first flight over today, and here he is in the corner with this youngster on his debut tonight. Yeah, that's a good shot, and, and again, I don't think oh, he's hurt him here. I think he's going to take finish. him out. He's looking for a finish right here and now. The Spaniard is grabbing hold a little bit desperately, trying to buy a few seconds and just try and be elusive. Ten seconds to survive to the bell to end this opening round. And what a decent opening three minutes that was. Yeah, good start for Smith. And what I was going to say is, is guys like Ben Davison and, and the team there at, at the, the High Performance Center, MTK High Performance Center, they don't, they don't have duds in their gym. They have good fighters. All the fighters they work with are good quality fighters. And this kid comes from... Exactly. Let's listen in. 
Well, let's you not. can jab a little bit more off oh, it. Here if it's not going to land, it's going to push him back. He'll probably do a little rhythm step. His base will be broken. Little opportunity to go there. Sometimes off the feint, he's going. If nothing goes, that's a reaction. It's clear to go. You've thrown his timing off. Yeah? So sometimes when you faint, if there is no reaction, change the pace and go. Reading with the all confidence. So many quality fighters over the years have, have been produced from that gym. And he looks like he's going to be another one. Well, four round up, and we go into round number two. It really looked as though he was starting to get to Martinez in the closing stages of the opening round, which is very emphatically the way of Smith. Fast hands, doesn't he? Yeah, really fast hands. Looks spiteful as well, which is important. Just listening to the Ben Davison in the corner talking about the feints and, and trying to make his opponent react. He's fainting really well here. Like that. Lovely stuff. He hasn't been incapacitated or troubled really at all by anything that Martinez has produced so far. Had a fight up in Leeds only three weeks ago when he went the distance against Levi Smith. And he'll do well if he goes the distance here tonight. And Smith's a, a, another prospect who isn't getting over eager, who's, who's landed some good shots. Not allowing himself, even stuff like that that's going on, like not allowing himself to become frustrated by that. Just getting back to the game plan and sticking that long so far jab out in his face. That's a good shot. And again, an example of that hand speed as he followed in with the left hand over that lead right. Martinez trying to keep a, a tight guard, but it's easier said than done when faced with this sort of stuff. I know that the whole of the promotional operation Queensbury really excited about the latent talent of this young fella terrific junior amateur career and looking to do something special as a professional the difference is this is this is the big boys league this is where he's fighting man night john and there's a, there's a much difference in, in strength and power and everything else but that was just a slip well, he thinks he got a knockdown there, Martinez. A little bit of a protest there. He well, looks to his corner as much as to say, I hit him. I suppose it was. The, the rules are if a, if a punch lands and you go down and it's, it's a knockdown, but it's a bit of both there, off balance, obviously, but it was a punch landed. Well, that'll be one which should be worth seeing again. Not given as a knockdown, so immaterial. And the rest of the round has been bossed by Smith. Last few seconds. And he's really unloading up to the bell. And it's another round for Smith. Let's look again. What do you reckon, Carl? Was it? Um, uh, nah, I don't know. No, I'd say no. No. Atlanta kind of back ahead. It was a slip. It was a punch thrown. Clearly not hurt. I would say the referee made the right call. Straight, back to, straight back to the lead hand, OK? In between that, sometimes you can faint off the touch. Lead hands close, little threat, he'll lock up, or he might bite off it. You can check his reaction. If he's biting off it, little half step, boom, straight back to the lead hand. Don't load up. Vamos! Couple of uh, <laughs> hefty slaps to the face <laughs> from the corner man before Martinez comes out and. Has a little look across the ring to Smith, as much as to say, well, I know, and you know. Carl doesn't agree, though, and neither did the referee, and that's yeah. what counts. Just looking at, at, at what's going on with the feet here, and, uh, and, and Smith is he's cute. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't kept his front foot off Martinez's front foot very much in this fight. He's annoying him with it, and you can see that Martinez is starting to get a little bit annoyed and frustrated by that. And uh, looking when he has the opportunity to turn it into a bit of a wrestling match. 
Smith had loved to land one of those big left hands, absolutely clean, I'm sure. He's got less than two rounds to do it. Good shot. Martinez takes it well, though. Heads going in. Yeah, you just need to be careful. You don't want to, you know, start your pro career off with a, a nasty cut from a clash of heads. Well, he's totally bossing it in terms of technique and punches thrown, Smith. Yeah, he's really on top here, and he's landing good shots like that. But I, I'm pretty sure that he'd be he'd be looking. So with a round and a half to go here, he'd want to get rid of this guy before the end. Calls himself Sugar Roy, and anybody who gets sugar into their fighting nickname again puts them ourselves under a bit of pressure to really produce. Yeah, you have to you have to be a good fighter, a slick fighter, which he looks like he is. A couple of sugar rays may just have been the best two of all time. Yeah, I think that the first one, probably the best of all time. Ray Robinson, that one. Ray Leonard, who followed off, who wasn't too shabby either. He was all right, wasn't he? Just a bit. Well, he's not been able to find the clean shot he wants so far, though, on Martinez, who's managed to spoil and scuffle and grapple and survive, and goes back to his corner, having survived another round. Well, he's got three minutes to find him. Sugar boy Roy, let's see if he can do it. Martinez will try his best to see out this round here, and we can expect Smith to put it on and, and try and get rid before three minutes is up. Oh, he'll be going looking for him, no doubt about that. But he can't just go wailing in with big hooks, he's got to box his way in. Yeah, behind that, it's a good job he has as well. Sharp shooting job, throws it well to the body and the head. Fast. He's got to be aware of those wild and desperate right-hand swings from Martinez. He doesn't want one of those to catch him, though, like that. A complaint to the referee that that right hand lead had strayed a little bit low. Martinez, that was. He's going well to the body here, Smith. I like what I'm saying. He's punching from distance to the body as well. And when he's up close, he's trying to loop it in right into the solar plexus. Well, he wants to drag those gloves down, doesn't he? He wants to get the opening and work the opening. Not that time. But now, maybe, he does get through with a solid body shot. And the more of those he lands, the more Martinez will be inclined to keep his elbows and maybe his arms just that little bit lower to protect himself. It's a, it's a four-round fight, John. When you've, got, when you've got tough guys in a four-round fight, it, it's quite difficult to get rid of them and stop them. Six, eight rounds, no doubt in my mind that, that Smith would, would get rid of this guy, but for four rounds, he can survive. Although, in fairness to Martinez, he hasn't completely just tried to survive. He's, he's been, he's been thrown, thrown back a little bit, not having a lot of success, but at least he's trying. Toes in the water for the first time. And if he comes out of it with four rounds all in his favour and the W by the side of his name, then I think probably everybody associated with this youngster will be reasonably satisfied. Yeah, I think so. You're looking at... He's hardly get hit. Um, He's got four rounds in the bank, um, and it's a win, which is the most important thing. And we're, we're 30 seconds to go here, but it'll be onwards and upwards for for Smith. 
and clearly a talent. He's a good fighter. You know a good fighter when you see one, and, th and this kid has a lot of ability. Target's in the body once again a couple of times. One of them looked just a little bit low as we move into the last 10 seconds of the fight. Right over the top from Martinez, but he's not been able to put Smith into any sort of trouble, and there can only be one result here, and that's a win for Royston Barney Smith, Sugar Boy Roy. He's going to get the victory. And first impressions often going to be the good best. Fighter. Yeah, well, look, he's a good fighter. Um, again, like I said, there's a long way to go, but. He's heaping a lot of pressure on himself. His team expect big things from him. Fra Frank Warren is expecting big things from him, but a long way to go, but a good start. A good start to his uh, pro career. Baby face, he's still only a baby, isn't he? Look at him, John, he's, he's, a, he's a kid. Looks a bit like Alfredo Morelos, Glasgow Rangers striker, a little bit. Well, as a, as a Rangers expert, I'll leave that one with <laughs> you, but <laughs> he certainly doesn't look fully fully grown yet does he looks as though he's got some filling out still to do but he's uh, terrific physique and he's not been troubled at all by Martinez in that first fight of his professional career and surely now this is going to be four rounds out of four here's Dev ladies and gentlemen after four rounds of boxing your referee Lee Every scores the contest 40-36 to your winner and successful on his professional debut, Royston Barney Smith, a.k.a. Sugar Boy Roy! Sugar Boy Roy gets the win he wants. The man from Hampshire gets his professional career underway. I wonder how much we're going to be talking about him in months and years to come. Carl and I were there. We did his first fight.